Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. And hey, we're in Easter season, so we're kind of looking at the sayings of Jesus from the cross as we're getting ready to celebrate his death and resurrection. And, and I just want to uh, challenge you to think about two things as, uh, as we get ready for Easter. First of all is who are you going to invite to come to church with you? Now, this weekend is our regular schedule weekend. We've got the uh, services at our normal times. It's, you know, the Palm Sunday weekend. But next weekend is Easter weekend. And so we'll add an extra service on Saturday afternoon, uh, April 8th at 3.30. So we'll have two services on Saturday, 3.30 and 5. And then we'll have our regular schedule on Sunday. And so I want you to bring a friend. But I also want you to think about coming to Easter service on Easter Saturday. And I know some of you are saying, but that's not Easter Sunday. Well, it is in Jerusalem, so let that count. Uh, it's already Easter by then. But, but the purpose is this. You can worship Jesus any day and celebrate his resurrection any day. And we're going to do exactly the same service on Saturday as we do on Sunday. So uh, think about that on the 8th, April 8th, of saying, hey, I'm going to go worship there and open up some space on Sunday morning for the people who are going to show up at church who maybe don't have a relationship with Jesus or at least aren't you know, living in that relationship uh, the way that we want them to. So uh, just think about that because you're someone who's already seeking God. Uh, if you're listening to this, you care a little bit more about spiritual things. So that's just a challenge I'm going to offer you. So today we're looking at one of Jesus' statements from the cross, and, and it's a very touching one. It's found in John 19, and, and it says this, beginning in verse 25, standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing nearby, that's John, by the way, the one who wrote this, he said to his mother, woman, behold your son. And then he said to the disciple, behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his own home. Now, this is a reminder of Jesus' humanity. Now, theologically, Jesus is fully human and fully God. He's the one and only Son of God, born of a woman, but, you know, uh, fathered by the Holy Spirit. So this reminds us of Jesus' humanity, because there he is, and you see his sorrow at saying goodbye to his mom. I mean, he knows her heart is broken. She's watching him die. And, and then you see his compassion for caring for his mom. And he says, Mom, behold your son, not just the one who's dying, but the one next to you. And to his disciple, behold your mother, take care of her. And you see, again, his humanity, his dependence on his disciple, his friend, caring for his mother, doing what he can't do himself. And, and I want you to see the example that Jesus set because he was thinking of others as if they're more important than himself. The Apostle Paul captured this so beautifully in Philippians 2 when he said, do nothing from selfish ambition or empty conceit, but rather with humility of mind, consider others more important than yourself. That, that's what Jesus was showing us. After all, he had told us that if you want to be great, you need to be the servant of everyone. And so the path to greatness is serving. And get this, even when you're suffering. That's what Jesus was doing. He was suffering for the sins of humanity, and yet he was still taking care of his mom. He was still thinking of the needs of others. So Jesus served his mom from the cross, and Jesus served us from the cross by being the sacrifice for our sins. What will you do to serve Jesus? Hope that blesses you. Hope it challenges you, and I hope you have a great day.